Hi guys, this is Ramat and welcome to Best Gaming Settings. Hope you'll enjoy this video. For more updates, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Today we will talk about Crackshot Spellbreak Character Classes Guide. Crackshot isn't paired with any specific skill, but it is considerably more useful for long range combat than short. Crackshot can help you to do a lot more damage from further away. It is best used with gauntlets that can make the most of these kinds of advantages like frost. This makes an ideal character class to pair with the frost focus character class. Even if you don't particularly care for frost, this class can be most effective when you use it with long range weapon. It isn't much good for player who use toxic. If you are non-committal about your gauntlet, you can pair this with another utility gauntlet like bullway. Now let's see Crackshot passive ability and scrolls. Crackshot passive ability is in power. This ability is active from the second your game starts. However, it does have a 10 seconds calm down window. Every spell you cast 10 seconds interval will deal 30% more damage as a single spell. Unfortunately, this doesn't apply once you start combining spells. Since most medium and short range spells are better to be combined, this ability will get the most use for long range shots. It can also really bluster a single attack through like stone boulder. As well as passive abilities you can augment those with additional selectable scrolls. Each time you gain a skill point, you can access one of these scrolls. The first selectable scroll for Crackshot is Armor Piercing. With this scroll, your shot will ignore the first 20% of your target's armor. Armor Piercing 2 and 3 will ignore 30 and 40%. This scroll can be helpful in ensuring a long range. Hit is going to do a lot more damage. Some other character classes can bluster defense, so this scroll is a gateway of countering those effects and still getting the damage you need to win. High Velocity is a second scroll. This increases the speed of your projectile by 30%. High Velocity 2 increased by 60% and High Velocity 3 increased by 90%. This 90% figure might look impressive but this scroll has a major drawback. Essentially it is going to mess with your muscle memory. To be accurate at long range, you need to have an instinct for how long this shot will take to hit the target and adjust your aim accurately. This scroll will make it easier to hit your target. However, it will make it harder to become accustomed to how fast your projectile will be going. Now let's talk about steady aim and prioritizing scrolls. The last selectable scroll for Fractured is steady aim. This will increase the damage of your spells by 20% as long as you are standing still for 4 seconds before this. Steady aim 2 and 3 will increase your damage by 30 and 40% but won't decrease the cooldown time. When this is pairing with armor piercing or strong frost gauntlet, this scroll can be pretty lethal. If the chance occurs to get this scroll, you should take it. If you are not looking for long range damage, then you shouldn't be using this class. If you are, then this scroll can really help you. When choosing your scroll, you should prioritize steady aim and armor pressing. High velocity can be useful occasionally, but it will cause problem if you want to make long distance aiming second nature. Instead, the other scrolls offer a great way to boost your damage level, so only one shot is needed from a distance. Crackshot is a specialist player class, but definitely a useful one. It would be helpful to have a frost or crackshot player on every team. Providing they are skilled at that short of combat, it can be helpful for trying to learn long distance attack. But some scrolls will mess with your muscle memory, so are to be avoided while you are trying to improve. That was all for crackshot. Hope you enjoyed this video. For more updates, please like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. If we miss something, please let us know by comment and thanks for watching.